Main course is based on the dish that my mum makes, my favourite roast dinner. I think the main course is a really big ask. Spiced lamb with cauliflower and onion, an onion and potato bhaji on the side. We're talking about a modern approach to Indian food using an English Sunday roast as a base. Lamb's got to be cooked very, very well. Will it be pink or will it be done all the way through as you would expect an Indian curry to be done? I think they look fantastic. I love the polish, I love the form, I love the thought. This looks fantastic. I appreciate that. Jane's starter is a take on her childhood Sunday tea. Winkles and parsley on toast, served with pan-fried cockles and mussels, langoustine tempura, deep-fried caper berry, and a saffron lemon mayonnaise. That's probably the best-looking winkle cockle dish I've ever seen. Every little bit of that shellfish is beautiful. It's got exactly the right texture as well, and there's the saltiness of the sea coming from it as well. Your tempura is as light as you like. Your longest is brilliantly cooked. Textures are great. Flavours are natural and they're good. Well done. I would like a little bit more sharpness in my mayonnaise because I think that can work with saffron. But as for the rest of it, it tastes of what it should do, and that's the sea the joy of the gift from the sea. I think it's a beautiful thing. Jane's Indian-inspired Sunday roast includes braised shoulder of lamb marinated in yogurt, cumin and garam masala, with cannon of lamb cooked in a red chili and kaffir lime leaf puree, onion bhajis, roasted cauliflower, pan-fried shallot, onion puree, deep-fried kaffir lime leaves, and a lamb gravy. Right. This I'm really looking forward <laughs> to. Your loin of lamb is cooked beautifully and lovely and pink. Your shoulder of lamb is braised really, really well with the yoghurt and the spice around the outside. You get the cauliflower sauce underneath, that's lovely. Your bhajis are light as you like, almost like little pillows of air flavoured with turmeric and onions and potatoes. But for me, the thing that makes this whole thing come alive are these. Little shreds of lime leaf, which are completely unexpected. I'm stealing, because <laughs> that's great. Very clever, Jane. Thank you. It's a genius flavour combination. These are big heady, powerful spices you're playing with, and you're handling them with the lightest of touches. That's a stunningly good dish. I'm really impressed with that. Well done. Jane's dessert is rhubarb and custard, a vanilla panna cotta flavored with rosemary, with honeycomb, rhubarb stewed in a ginger liqueur, a rhubarb and ginger granita, and a burnt orange and lemon caramel. That's a very pretty, pretty plate. Look at that. It's a piece of modern art. <laughs> Technically, everything on here you cannot fault. I love the sweet, sticky syrup with the bitterness of the orange. The wobble of the panna cotta is absolutely perfect. The creamy silkiness of it. Your granita is sharp and refreshing and your rhubarb is cooked very, very well. But what I really want is more of that rhubarb to go with all those beautiful things. It's just shouting at me now, more rhubarb, please. Sorry. <laughs> the best of dishes in the world ever for me is when you think you've worked it out and you get something that's different. Panna cotta flavoured with rosemary is superb. It doesn't make it savoury, it makes it almost smoky and woody. You've got sharpness of orange. You've got sharpness of rhubarb, and it's a beautiful match. <laughs>